your sense. The thing is, Bob, it's not that I'm lazy. It's that I just don't care. Don't. The movie don't. Office Space has a number of really interesting scenarios, and some which can teach us economics, including this one on game theory. We will go to the clip in a moment to set this up. Peter is called in by the consultants who are looking to restructure and maybe downsize, and the two Bobs are asking him some questions about his job. And we're gonna just learn a little bit about how to efficiently design incentives through this clip. Let's watch it now okay, and then I'll be Peter back. Peter Gibbons. Uh -huh. Oh, there you are. What were we just talking about you. You must be Peter Gibbons. Uh-huh. Terrific. I'm Bob Slidell. This is my associate, Bob Porter. Oh, hi, Bob. Bob, Peter, why don't you go ahead and grab a seat and join us for a minute or two. You see, what we're actually trying to do here is we're just, we're trying to get a feel for how people spend their day at work. So, if you would, would you walk us through a typical day for you? Yeah. Great. Well, I generally come in at least 15 minutes late. Uh, I use the side door, that way Lumberg can't see me. <laughs> and uh, after that, I just sort of space out for about an hour. Tell him uh, space out? Yeah, I just stare at my desk. But it looks like I'm working. I do that for uh, probably another hour after lunch too. I'd say in a given week, I probably only do about 15 minutes of real, actual work. Uh, Peter, would you be a good sport and indulge us and just tell us a little more? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you something about TPS reports. Uh, TPS the thing is, Bob, it's not that I'm lazy. It's that I just don't care. Don't, don't care? It's a problem of motivation, all right? Now, if I work my ass off and Initech ships a few extra units, I don't see another dime. So where's the motivation? And here's something else, Bob. I have eight different bosses right now. A uh, big pardon? Eight bosses. Eight? Eight, Bob. So that means that when I make a mistake, I have eight different people coming by to tell me about it. That's my only real motivation, is not to be hassled. That and the fear of losing my job. But you know, Bob, that'll only make someone work just hard enough not to get fired. Would you bear with me for just a second, please? OK. What if, and believe me, this is so <laughs> hypothetical. But what if you were offered some kind of a stock option equity sharing program? Would that do anything for you? I don't know, I guess. Listen, I'm gonna go. Uh, it's been really nice talking to both of you guys. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Yeah, the thanks. pleasure's all on this side yes. of the table, trust me. Good luck with your layoffs, all right? I hope your firings go really well. Okay. Thanks a lot. Great. Yeah. Wow. Oh, Peter, what's happening? Listen. Peter is having a very open discussion with the Bobs, probably way more open than most people should have if they are really only putting in 15 hours of actual work per week. But the Bobs are eating it up, and they absolutely love hearing Peter's insights. And this raises a pretty good question here. This scene relates well to the branch within game theory that we would think of as mechanism design. Mechanism design within game theory kind of flips everything on its head. When you might think about a game theory problem, if you are a student, you get assigned a particular problem, you work through, you solve what is the solution. Mechanism design is much more complicated, much more messy, but much more realistic of the real world. And that is, you have a solution in mind. How do you set up the rules of the game to get you to the solution? Now, in this case, the solution that the firm should have is how to get the employees to put in a good amount of effort, to work hard, to, you know, when they have a little bit of spare time, think about ways they can make the company more money. That's not happening here for perhaps a variety of reasons, and I don't pretend to have the answer on what would have made this more efficient, whether it's the seven different people who will yell if th something goes wrong versus um, you know, a boss who is not very well respected. 
But clearly, there is not the motivation here by Peter, nor is there the oversight to enforce for Peter to work hard in the particular role. Part of why I think game theory analysis is actually really important in the idea of, of human resources or even for managers because a little bit of thought on how do you set up incentives? How do you think through what to do so that your employees who are constantly faced with decisions to maybe work a little bit harder, work less hard, or maybe it's not even the decisions, maybe they'll work harder because they're happier in their jobs. What can you do to set up the rules of the game, which is just your policies, your procedures, so that you get the maximum amount of effort from individuals. So as a firm, you'll make as much money as you can make. That's a mechanism design problem. The way you go through this, if you're thinking about it conceptually within game theory, is you think about the stated solution, you set up rules of the game, and then you solve what's the equilibrium. Now I know in a lot of real world applications, it's not as easy to do this. But to the extent that you can, you set up the rules, you solve for the equilibrium, and you see, is the equilibrium you run into, is that what you wanted? If it is, that's fantastic. Propose to adopt those rules. If it's not, scrap the process, start again, try to set up a new set of rules for the game so that you get what you want. Here we would say that in attack, the firm is in a process where their rules of the game aren't working, they should probably scrap them, come up with a complete new set of rules to try to maximize efficiency, hopefully increase employee engagement, and get to an outcome where people want to put in a little bit more effort. My name is Matt Rosu. I love making pop culture videos that share economic concepts. So if you like this, like and subscribe, and you'll get updated when more content comes out. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.